Hey, what's up guys? Um, today I'm going to go over the Tekton tools that I own. Uh, I'll discuss which of their tools that I own, why I think they're a very good company, their warranty process, and go over if I would recommend them to you or not. Um, so what I own from them, I own metric impact sockets in half inch deep and shallow and three eighths deep and shallow standard impact sockets in half inch deep and shallow. I didn't get the three eighths because I just don't use standard that often. Um, so the half inch will cover just about anything I would need an impact on um, that's standard because it goes all the way from three eighths to one and a quarter. Um, I also own their entire wrench set in metric and standard for the regular size wrenches and also the stubbies. Um, also I have their impact driver set, their ball peen hammer set, their oil filter pliers, and their pry bars. Now these are the older pry bars that they have. They do not have the strikable cap on them. They did just come out with a set that is strikable and I'm probably going to pick those up. So overall I think uh, Tekton tools have a really good finish on them. Now mind you I didn't clean any of these wrenches really before I set up for this but the chrome is pretty good on it. These are pretty heavily used and it's holding up really good. Um, the impact sockets as well. Let me grab my most used one which is going to be half inch 19 millimeter. So the one downfall to these that I would say on their impact sockets is the size is just laser etched on there. It's not stamped anywhere. Um, so the only way to identify it is that laser etching. I haven't had any issues with these rubbing off yet. So I guess time will tell how long that lasts on there. But if you look inside, this one's really heavily used. Most it's a 19 and a half inch, it gets beat on. So the inside of it's still pretty good. Where the impact goes in the drive side, you can see it's kind of wallering out a little bit, but that's to be expected with how much I use these. Um, overall, the finish is still really good on it. You got some of the black coming off there, which is normal. But after a year, these are a year old. So after a year of use on these, they're holding up really good. And it's the same with the shallows, 3 8 as well. Um, they just, they're holding up great. I can't complain about them. On the hammers, now, on the ball peens, these things sit on, like directly on my drawer liners. And you can see with the heat, the drawer liners rubbing on it but I beat on them. They hold up pretty good. Let me see here. Let me grab the one I use the most. Obviously I use the biggest one the most. You can see on the striking face of it, it's got some scratches, but for the price you're paying for these tools, they hold up phenomenal. I think one of the best parts about Tekton as a tool company is their warranty process. There is a gentleman that works there by the name of Dave. I can't remember his last name. He's active in a lot of the forums though. Um, all you do when you break a tool, for instance, I, I had their 2.5 pound like stubby sledgehammer and I beat the heck out of that thing. I use it when I'm chopping wood to hit the ax down further to try to get it to split. And the handle, started coming out right there. Um, it never came all the way out, it just came loose. And I would push it back down and keep working on it. Um, but all you do is you go on their website, you give them your name, your address, the item number, a description of what's wrong with it, and send them a picture, and they mail a replacement right out to you. So just to test it, I on that sledgehammer last night, I went at about 10.30, and submitted the request for warranty replacement on it. When I woke up this morning at 8.30, I had already had an email from Dave stating that he would get my item in the mail ASAP. 
I uh, came out here, worked on the truck a little bit, and my phone went off. I checked my email, and it's already a tracking number for my replacement sledgehammer. So less than a 24-hour turnaround, and they already have my replacement in the mail. It's not next day shipping because today's Friday. It's expected to be here on Tuesday. So it's like two business days, which is really good. Um, I've tried warrantying out gear wrench. It takes a little longer. Typically with Harbor Freight, you just go in and you get a replacement and you're good there, but you got to do the driving. If it's not a pertinent item, I don't need that sledgehammer replacement right now. I have ball peens. I have a dead blow. Um, I have other hammers I can use. The warranty process is just great. So would I recommend that you buy Tecton tools? Yes, I would. I think they'll hold up well in a professional environment. I think they hold up great for DIYers and the warranty is outstanding. For the price that you are paying for these tools, they're a little bit more expensive than Harbor Freight. Um, they're all made in Taiwan. Every tool that I've received from them is made in Taiwan, not China, and they're holding up awesome. I have many more purchases in my wish list from Tecton that I plan on getting, and I, I think they're a all-around good alternative tool company. Um, they, they all come in nice cases, nice ways to store them. Even all the impact sockets come in these nice cases like this that I just cut the top off of and you can store them. The only reason I moved them to the rails was because I'm running out of room in the box and standing them up takes up less room than laying them down. So I actually still have the cases up on my top shelf here for if I ever get a bigger box. I still like putting them in there because the cases are even labeled. Let me grab one real quick. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but even on the blow molded case, the sizes are labeled right there. So when it's laying down in the box and you got your sockets laid out in it, if they happen to be turned around, you can just walk up, see hey 19 and grab it. It's awesome. So overall, yes, I would recommend you get Tecton tools. Um, look into their ratcheting wrenches. They have six point extra long double flex head ratcheting wrenches that I think are a really good alternative to the gear wrenches and they're at a pretty good price. Um, right now they're running Black Friday deals so it's a great time to buy them. Anyway, that's my overview of Tecton Tools. If you like the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Thanks.